All right, today we're with Alan. Alan Young from Hawaii, and we're gonna tour his man cave. I've been in this house for 34 years, and this is just a part of the collection that comes in and out of this house. A little bit of surfing we do in Hawaii, a little bit of skateboarding we do in Hawaii, and especially we do bikes. Cars and bikes. You said this is gonna be, uh, become a trike, right? This is a trike. If you take a picture from the behind, there's a swing arm on there. Wow. What motor are you going to run with? This? I have a 110 RevTech. Wow. And over here, you can see Alan and his old bikes. Some of my history. That actually was my first bike I built from scratch. Wow. That was back in 1995. How did you get into uh, bikes? You know, I love the sound of bikes. And I decided one day, you know, the bike will build off shows. So I decided to start changing my, my uh, skills from cars to bikes. And I'm very obsessive. So when I started, I started to just build bikes after bikes after bikes. And it became an obsession. <laughs> <laughs> you said you started with cars first, right? Yes. Especially hot rods? Yes, sir. This is uh, Alan's old, uh, old car right here. You say it's in Japan now, right? It's in Japan right now. Wow. Was, it, was this show in Hawaii? Or? That is Hawaii. That's 1980 World of Wheels. Wow. That's my first hot rod. Not my first Camaro, my first hot rod. Vintage car. Wow. I just sold this car recently. That's on the street in Hawaii. Damn. It was once upon a time. I bought it from another person, but it was once upon a time Hawaii's fastest 10-second Camaro in the 70s. Wow. Fastest street car. You want to tell us the story about this license plate? <laughs> what does it okay. mean? Okay. <laughs> As we travel today to the next location, I will show you the bike. But that bike is called Fa 9. Fa 9 is a nice way of saying Fa Q. <laughs> Just Sick was a Magnese 300 tire full air ride bike that uh, was shipped into Hawaii and I ended up purchasing it, gave it to my son. Does he still have it or? No, he sold it, <laughs> unfortunately. But at least you have the plate to remember it, right? Yes, yes. Very cool. Oh, can't forget the NOS bottle. <laughs> that is a vintage NOS bottle. That's from the 70s. I wonder what car it was in. I don't know. <laughs> Having a slight idea. Yeah, you can spend like hours here just listening to like stories of each gift, you know, each stuff that you collected. Yes. A lot of toys, really cool hot rod toys and Bike stuff. Chopper Zinc. The dice, that's Billy Lane's signature. Oh. They don't make those anymore. Well, I don't know, you may be able to get it, but I fortunately ran into that. That's a really cool frame too, the picture frame? The Hardy picture frame? Yes. I gotta tell you, when I worked, <laughs> I had to have short hair, but I retired already for about nine years, and this is the result of nine years of retirement. I don't cut my hair. <laughs> I just trim it now. <laughs> You look young without the mustache. <laughs> because it was getting white. <laughs> oh, got it. <laughs> Do you have a name for this guy? Yeah, he's called Dude. Dude? He's Dude. <laughs> you know, people fight chickens, right? Yeah. I was telling my friend, let's get fishes and fight fishes. <laughs> <laughs> then somebody said, you cruel, Alan. <laughs> I don't know if all the stuff in here, which one is your favorite? Like, which one do you... How my do I favorite? It? The TV. The TV? <laughs> <laughs> I learned all my bad habits from TV. Biker build-offs, you know, all the car shows that they built, put on. I'm an avid watcher of uh, Street Outlaws and, you know, whatever they have, a bike show like yeah. Hell's Angels, I'm following it. Do you still surf? No, I just paddleboard now. A little bit too old already for, for surfing. Paddle is easier. Yeah. And if you look at this right here, that fell down. It's actually an old collector's Budweiser novelty. Oh, wow. Yeah, somebody broke into my house and knocked it down. Oh, man. They came through the windows. That's how I found it broken. Oh, that's a tea bucket that's body. That's my right bucket. There. Yeah. Frames next to it. Fiberglass? Nice. Yeah. This actually came from a junkyard. I was sitting on top of somebody's really? building in wow. Arizona. So it has a name on the side if you look good at it. There's a name here. Look, you gotta look into it, you see it. I don't know where it was, but they were saying, look good in the, you can see the name. Yeah. 
So I bought this frame for it. Cage comes out of 5.5, five, but I bought this frame because it's a Jaguar frame. <laughs> it's, it's made for Jaguar rear yeah. and I have a chrome Jaguar. That's the beauty about like hot rods and chopper. You can make anything work, right? It's custom. Yes. That's the custom yes. culture right there. Yes. Let's go take a look at the Dragon. This bike was built in actually 06. It's an old build. It never hit the circuit. Wow. Came out one show and this bike is called the Dragon. It's built by Custom Fab. The owner decided to build a trike, so he called me up and asked me if I wanted to buy the chassis, and here it is. How did you get the bike back here? Hmm? I fit it. It fits. Really? Yeah, I even put it in my house if you don't want to. Yeah. Sorry about that. My cover's old already. Wow. I think this is a Yaffe frame. Oh. It's a Yaffe frame. It's an old build, so it still supports a, I think that's a 17 by 6 inch rim. So they can run the 210 tire. Wow. That was the widest. This was before the 250 tires came out when this bike was built. So we purchased this bike about. Oh, that's crazy to think. Year, year and a half ago, and it's been in the process of being built. Now, have you noticed that's sculptured? Yeah. It's, wow. not, it's not a paint job on the tank. It's been sculptured. There's artwork in there. Dang, it's wild. You see it's dragging all over the place. Paint job is by Dennis Matheson of Cosmic Airbrush. From the uh, island? Yes our best painter. Does he still paint or is he retired? He's retired. Dang. <laughs> You're gonna pay good money to get him to do any work. He does actually sculptures like Wylan. Yeah. He does, that's what he does now. So you can imagine how long ghost flames been around. These real flames, right? Yeah. This is back in the 90s when this was done. Wow. We decided to go simple. 80 inch, six speed rev tech. BDL three speed, I mean three inch belt. What's crazy is that this motor usually is, is big, right? But then in this, in this, the frame and the bike, it looks tiny, right? Because the bike is so long. Yes. Wow. Really cool. Can't get over the tank. Point it out, since you're taking a picture of how it's sculptured. Yeah. That is artwork by Dennis Matheson. Yeah, this is a one of one right here. One of one. One of one. Yes. yes. When was the last time you rode it? It has not come on the road yet. I've been, honestly, I've been doing a lot of cars lately. Oh. So this thing is. So the dragon is sleeping. The dragon has been sleeping. Yes. Man, I can't imagine when this thing's awake. So this was a trike, right? And then you convert it to- Yes, uh, the fairing is in the house. The tanks are in the house. The tanks are flamed and painted. I was gonna assemble it for you to make it look fancy, but no, this is my personal bike. So yeah. it's sitting on a back burner also, as you can tell, <laughs> look. Did you teach yourself how to like weld and wrench and everything? Yes. Actually, I'll be honest with you, when it's technically real certified welding, I have a welder from Japan that lives in Hawaii. Oh, wow. He does all of my welding. He, when he takes welds, he can make pinheads on small little items. Wow. He's that good. So, and he takes care of me real well, so he doesn't charge me a lot, you know? Yeah. Yeah. If you notice how this bike is built, in Hawaii, we have beach bars. Yeah. So it's not like this. It's beach bar style. If you look at how wide it is and how low it is. Oh. This is the Hawaiian style but in a custom design. This bike was built by a gentleman called Roger Kurohara and uh, Darren. Roger and Darren built this bike back in the, the mid 90s. And uh, this bike has never hit the road. It's been sitting in the garage for years. Wow. Yes. Stickers I pull off of cars. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. <laughs> This is Far 9. Far 9? Yes. Nice. 
Got the panhead rocker boxes too. Panhead rocker boxes, SU carburetor. Wow, man, this is like kind of like Bill Lang style choppers, huh? Totally custom built. Right? Yes. This thing doesn't have regular shocks. It has torsion bar suspension. It's a soft tail. Yeah. Got the SU carb too. Yes. It's a Freddy Hernandez Springer 2. And if you look really good at this bike, this bike has been dechromed like Exile Cycle. All the chrome is sanded down with oh. Scotch Bright. If you look really good at it, it's black chrome rims also. Yeah. You can see through the rim the chrome. Man, they got all the quality parts on it. Yes. I just sold this bike. This is my bike for years. <laughs> Now this bike was also built by Custom Fab. This yeah. was one of their first builds in the old days. It was for an aircraft pilot named Gabe. Uh, Roger Kurohara and Darren have a, Darren Ho have a lot to do with building this bike. And the paint job again is Cosmic Airbrush, our top painter in Hawaii. I love all the internal wiring too, really cool. Yes. Yeah, SNS 96 inch engine uh, with a Delcron 5 speed trans. You see a black chrome? Yeah, both the wheels, yeah. Yes. And soft tail. Roger is one of our, to me, he's one of the most creative builders he is. Everything he does is so intricate Yeah. that it's really, you know, I'm, I know I'm talking about somebody else, but one of my good friends since we, we grew up together from the 70s, yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, everything he does is intricate. Yeah, he's an artist. To repair his wiring takes days <laughs> <laughs> just to find out how to do it. It's, it's all hidden underneath the transmission. Yeah. <laughs> no, everything is really well thought out. Yes. Beautiful. That's all I can say. This is one of my builds. We haven't found the right bar bars for this bike yet. Man, it's clean. Yes. I love the black. You can't never go wrong with black on a Harley. Yes. And we actually built this with pan tops, but red up. Uh, Lead sled did not give us all the hardware for the pan tops. These are supposed to go on top there. And we just don't have the internals. Oh. So this was supposed to go on the bike. And this is from Redneck and uh, Red Red Lead Sled. That's the yeah. Lead sled customs, right? It's their pan tops. Wow. <sighs> what uh what's the height for the Springer? Oh, this is a two under. Two under? Got two it. Two under, yeah. I love the tires choice, the color, man. Avon, old school. I love it. 16 inch rims, 
Uh, yeah, the 16 inch old, front just looks so beefy, you know, especially yes. with the Avon top. This is old school right here. Yeah. Old school bobber, right? It's a built wall. Jock shift. We haven't put we haven't put the clutch. Well, the lever is on, but you know it's still in the build process. We put the kicker. This is a five speed with a kicker. Yeah. So we kind of went with old school team to this bike. Yeah. Is that the BDL? No, this is Altima. Altima. Two inch belt drive. How yes. much was it when you pick it up? About twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Because that, we're that's in a Hawaii. pretty good price. Cause yeah, we're in Hawaii. Wow, because I know the kit is like two grand in in, in the mainland. I got connections. Wow, 1200 yeah. is cheap. Wow. Yeah. And then we got this jockey shift going on. So it's going to be jockey shift. Uh, we haven't found the right bars. We've been trying all kinds of bars. So we got those bars. And I think I'm looking at the old bars that are kind of like 50, 60 pan heads. Yeah. The wide bars, the single bar that goes across the top. Mm hmm. Yeah, these are clean too, the struts. Yes, Nario. This is this is Nario's welds. Wow. This is freshly powder coat, right? Or paint? Yes. It's painted. It's not powder coat. It's painted. Wow. Paint job by Hannibal Williams. Uh, Psychedelics is his company. Psychedelics. This is the bar we bought for it, right? So this is the design we wanted to use. But then, oops! Oh, sorry about that. But this was not one inch bars when they came in. This is from JP Cycles. These are seven, eight bars. They don't fit. Nothing fits. <laughs> it's bicycle bars. Oh, wow. This was the bars we were planning to put on here. So we need to get a bigger version and we haven't found one. We have to probably make a set of bars this style. Yeah, looks good. I'm gonna show you one of Nario's jobs he did. This is off of the bike I was telling you about. Has anybody seen nunchuck bars? <laughs> oh man, that's cool. Nunchuck. Nunchuck bars. Wow. No, that's my, that's one my, off. My first time for sure. Yes. And it's all internals too. Yes. This is for jockey shift. Really cool. Yeah. I don't have my ladder to take you up there, but you can see. Yeah, I see the frame and the. That's tank. the tank from Norio. Wow. Remember what I was telling you about the Japanese guy? Mm -hmm. There's a tank, a oil tank, and a back fin the back fender body, you know, like a crutch rocket, the body. Yeah. All matches for another frame. That's a 250 frame that I got from, uh, from Las Vegas. And the other one's just a Paco. No, I like, I like the setup. It's really cool. Pretty Spac good size. It's nice. It's spacious, yeah. Yeah. This is, this is, uh, I think it's probably a 90, it's a 96. 96? Road King. Wow, it looks it's an brand old, new. It's an old police bike. 96, 97. He takes care of it. Yeah, it's, I thought it was like a 2023. Yes. Wow. Yes. Oh, no, it might be older than 96. It might be newer. Newer, yeah, because the it's a twin, cam. twin cam, exactly. Yeah. Probably like in the 2000 and up. 2000, yes. But it is police bike because it's got this. That's how you can recognize. This is the release. Fully Spike is like this. Oh. This might be the last version of Fully Spike that they made in, in yeah. Hawaii, Harley Davidson. Really cool. And this is a project? This is one of our friend's projects he's building. This is a 88 Tree Sportster with a, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's a lead sled back half. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Because the TC Bro one, it curved in and curve down and stay like this. Yeah. I really like this uh, the bike stand there. Or oh, bike lift, right? Yes. Feels like it's custom. <laughs> yeah. It was my stand, I gave it to my friend. I'm not gonna use stand no more. I mean the cars. <laughs> 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 I can borrow it anytime I yeah. want to. Yes, it's still mine. Really cool. Look at all the seats. <laughs> Keep trying. Keep buying until it all fits. Yeah, you got yes. a lot of options. Okay, ready to look at some cars now? Yeah, let's do it. You said this is a 29? 29. Henry J Ford. It's a true metal Model T Roadster. Model A Roadster. Are you planning to fill this up? I have a, I have, I have a piece of board that goes here. Oh, nice. 
But I just leave it like if I get like, the battery still. Yeah. 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 I leave it with storage up here, like my <laughs> like my uh, bike behind my TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are my toys? Cool. Three inch chop on the front, so this is lower than standard. If you notice, yeah. So, old school looks, but put the cherry bombs on with the ladder bars, the big pipes, wishbones. Does it have the death wobble when you drive it? Hmm? Does it have the death wobble when you drive it? No, because my old my old uh, roaster, man, it had a crazy death wobble. Not this one. I was like, man, that's scary. This one's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I drive this thing down the road six I ran it on a few sixty five, seventy miles an hour. It's pretty good. I love I love this. I need that, yeah. Custom, huh? Cool. Yeah. This is a wing from something else and I yeah. just screwed it to this underneath. It feels like a duck wing, huh? <laughs> yeah, it looks like a duck wing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. cool. Yeah, I love pieces like that, you know, custom. Yeah. That's what that's what it's about. And I have a supercharger underneath here. I took it off. That's the triples now. Old keystone mags. This says the only thing is missing is the can spray flames. Yeah. On everything can spray like what they built in the sixties. Not at not, not at a regular body and vendor shop where you can get a custom painting. Beautiful. Yeah. What they used to build, you know the guys that used to put the packs underneath their arms, uh -huh. right? Yeah. What they build in their garages. Yep, garage built. Yes. Rods. Sit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> How many speed? Three speed. It's Three. Oh, nice. It's got it's got a camshaft. So it's, pop, 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 pop. it's got good sounds. This works. It works. Wow. Connected up to Turbo Three Fifty. Wow. <laughs> What's this up here then? I think that probably was. I'm lying to you if I knew what it was. But <laughs> there's there's a zero on there. It might be an idiot, like, because I'm being honest with you. In the Model A's, this was the gas tank. Oh. This is the gas tank here. 